So Windows 11 has been confirmed with an October release looking pretty damn likely. And I dare say that if you've already been making plans for your upgrade, then you've probably found that through the Microsoft PC Health Check app, your system might not actually be ready or, well, compatible. Is this something to worry about though? Well, the short answer is, we don't think so. And I might just need to explain why. Let's do this. I wish these files would transfer faster. Come on! Whoa, is that the Fire Cuda 510 NVMe drive with its blistering fast speeds of 3450 megabytes a second read, 3200 megabytes a second write, and capacities of up to two terabyte? I can have these files transferred in no time. And if I'm looking for the ultimate performance, I could even get the fourth generation Fire Cuda 520. I better check the link in the description to find out more details. Since the razzle dazzle with the Windows 11 announcement, some information has slowly been released that has confirmed that in a nutshell, unlike every other Windows operating system that has become before, this one is going to be very specific about kind of what it's actually going to work with. The bottom line is that Windows 11, at least at the time of recording, requires a minimum of either an Intel 8th gen or AMD Ryzen 2nd gen processor. Rather high specs considering that between the two of these, they are generally speaking less than four years old. Now, presuming that you do meet that criteria, however, a check of the Microsoft PC Health Check app, the mildly confusing titled program that tells you if your PC or laptop is Windows 11 ready or not, has likely greeted you with the news that, no, your system is not ready. But the question is, why? Well, for the vast majority of people, the two biggest key issues in the lack of compatibility boils down to TPM 2.0 or not having secure boot enabled. Now, these are actually two relatively obscure settings within the BIOS that, quite frankly, no one had ever probably heard of until they went to pretty much check their compatibility. On the plus side though, at least the app actually tells you this now, as when it was originally released, it pretty much just said yes or no, with nothing else to back it up. You were basically completely in the dark. Now, while enabling these settings isn't, let's say, impossible, quite frankly, it's not overly straightforward either. Sure, there are plenty of videos floating around on YouTube at the moment as to how you can do it, but the short version is that this can be confusing and in many cases creates more problems than they can actually solve. I mean, come on, Andy, you're a content creator. Could we just throw a video together as to how to do it? I mean, sure, we could. The problem though is that the TPM 2.0 settings come under different guises on AMD and Intel processors. More so, accessing these settings will kind of vary massively depending on who your motherboard manufacturer is. Put simply, although we could make a video, it's kind of what we do day in, day out, the video would probably have to be, yeah, pretty much about an, over an hour long to not only effectively cover the methodology for motherboard BIOS menu settings for ASUS, Gigabyte, MSI, ASRock, BIOSTAR, EVGA, Acer, NZXT, and probably a few others I've forgotten to mention but we'd also have to do this for their Intel and AMD platforms. I mean, put simply, it would be very easy for us to not get everything right, and we'd rather avoid the risk of creating a few memes of our own, talking about hammering things in and bricks and blocks and tweezers and all that stuff. You know kind of where I'm going with this. As much as we'd absolutely love creating videos and seeing the views and the likes creep up, not to mention our subscriber count, when it comes to factual or kind of how-to content, if we can't get it 100% right for you, we simply won't bother doing it at all. So instead of going through all that, this is what we've come up with. We've actually come up with, well, a very novel solution. Is your PC not ready for Windows 11 right now? Or well, how about just waiting a little while? I mean, it sounds really stupid, but it's probably the most simple answer. I mean, preparation is always good, don't get me wrong, but I don't think it would be unfair to say that Windows 11's system requirements have caught a lot of people off guard here. We all presumed it would be exceptionally benign in terms of specs and quite frankly, well, it isn't. It's probably the most demanding operating system in terms of what you need to run it ever released in the modern era of personal computers. More so, although these difficulties can largely be resolved within the BIOS of most relatively decent motherboards, not every user is entirely comfortable poking around in those and, well, quite frankly, I guess terrifying menus. I mean, the BIOS is fine for if you're an enthusiast or someone like that, but for most people, well, they don't want to get the setting wrong and basically brick their whole PC. 
And yes, I've seen that happen before. So as I mentioned, here is a novel solution. Don't worry about it. Sure, we all want to upgrade to Windows 11, especially from what we've kind of seen when it comes to, especially, you know, the gaming benefits, which I'll admit do sound more than a little tasty. But based on current best estimates, it's still got around four months to go before it actually arrives. Now, although I'm going to admit, I entirely stand to be proven wrong within the next couple of months, I'd actually hugely anticipate that motherboard manufacturers like Asus, like MSI, like Gigabyte and all them other brands, well, I think we can safely say that they're going to start releasing new BIOS updates that will effectively look to automatically apply any settings necessary to ensure that it is Windows 11 ready. Something that would take, I guess, a lot of risk and moderately scary work out of the hands of the generic end user. Yes, updating your BIOS can also be scary, but between this and attempting to discover your TPM 2.0 settings and then ensuring that the secure boot runs correctly, well, in my opinion, it would definitely represent the lesser of the two evils. So in a nutshell, if your PC is not currently Windows 11 ready, our best advice right at this moment is to simply not worry about it. Time is still definitely in your hands here, and with a little patience, you might find that either Microsoft or your motherboard manufacturer might come up with some new tools to make the transition significantly less stressful. I mean, make no bones about it. Microsoft wants you to upgrade to Windows 11. At the moment though, while there is kind of nothing wrong with being excited about it, I don't think you have to worry too much if your PC doesn't currently quite hit the remits necessary. So back to the original question, is my PC Windows 11 ready? I don't know. And at this point, I'm not sure I entirely care. So rather than worrying about yourself and potentially risking kind of cocking something up with some half-baked online information that you found in a YouTube video or you read on a website, taking a little breather might well be to your advantage. Speaking of something that will be to your advantage though, have you got your hands on the eTechnics PC maintenance toolkit? With everything you need to build, repair and maintain your PC, it's the best tool you can get for all your PC building needs. Available on store.etechnics.com or by clicking the link in the description below. Either way, hopefully you enjoyed this video and if you did, you know exactly what to do. I'll see you in the next one. See you later guys.